Hi folks, today I'm out on the River Bure and I'm going to be wild camping for a night testing out my night cat flat hammock. So this is it, it's, it's uh, a dual purpose hammock. You can use it as a bivy. It's got uh, a couple of poles, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, allowing it to free stand. Let's just see how easy or difficult it is to erect this. So let's have a look inside. In this little pouch, we've got the suspending tapes. That's the hammock itself. There's some poles and that's the fly sheet. So in this little bag, we've got the tapes. There's one, two, three, and four. suspended from. This is the hammock. Feels like it's made from pretty good materials. Nice thick supporting sort of plasticized nylon. That's the uh, anti-insect net. Right. Comes with a carabiner and I'm going to go and clip that on. Well, there it is, but it keeps tipping upside down. So now I'm going to put the tensioners on to make it into the flat hammock. Well, that's the hammock up. That's um pretty rigid. I'm already very impressed. It does look flat. Right, so the next thing to do is put the fly sheet on it. Now, at this point, it's worth noting which side you're going to get in. There is only one side of entry, and that's this side with the zip. Uh, there is no entry on the other side, so make sure that you get the fly the correct way round. Another small carabiner for clipping on. At this end has this strange toggle and a loop. And I've seen different ways of attaching this. Some people attach it around here. Um, and I've also seen it try to attach around this wider part. So I'm not entirely sure if this is the correct way of fastening it at the front. Uh, I did erect this in the garden once and I tried just putting that little toggle around the strap but it was really flimsy and it just didn't seem right. I think 
to my eye that does look better around these tensioners so putting the fly around these tensioners and then just fastening it underneath it gives it a little bit more rigidity that's what it looks like underneath that's that's it erected didn't take too long at all very simple fairly intuitive it's uh, very robust it's stable but um, let's have a look at getting in so that zip and does before I get in let's just have a quick show you what it looks like quite spacious a hook for a light there's an attachment point there I need to do for the fly Maneuvering handles here and then down this end small pocket another light hook So there we are now the moment of truth Sit in this without making a Click fool of myself Well, this makes quite a nice shelter in its own right Okay, so I'm going to take my boots off because I don't want all this mud inside. All right, here we go. I've very nearly gone over. Okay, inside. Um, it's swinging. It doesn't feel totally stable to be honest um, but I suppose that is what hammocks do just as long as it doesn't flip me let's look at closing this up <laughs> he's rolling around a little bit maybe I need to go back outside and tension those straps off because it, it is rocking although it is quite a windy day but that does feel surprisingly flat yeah, there is a little bit of a curve. That's nothing compared with the other hammocks that I've slept in. So the other good thing about this being flat means that I can now put um, a sleeping mat here rather than have an under blanket. So I'll uh, put the rest of that up in a moment. Um, the other thing just to mention, uh, I've bought a tarp which I'm gonna put over the top of this as well, just for a little bit of added weather protection. I think I'm going to put this relatively high today. This is a DD Hammocks 3x3 tarp. Then to erect the tarp, always hang your tarp. Don't put it over because that will induce water along the line. So it's always better to hang it underneath. I've got a couple of carabiners. That's the tarp up. So if you look, the tarp is actually hanging underneath the ridge line, and I can tighten that up with the use of these prussic knots. This is my stove that I'm using tonight. I'm gonna to go out and cut some wood now, get it ready for lighting, keep me warm and cook my food. The good thing about this location is there is ample dead wood and cut trees and branches, so plenty of firewood to be found. Let's have a look at this food, it's adventure food. Just add water, it's dehydrated chicken curry. Yeah. 
I'll add some extra rice to that, I think. I've got this savoury rice, which I'll add to it. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna have a drink. I got one of these. It's Bavarian Lager, 0% alcohol, alcohol free. And I think that these are great. Cheers. The light is rapidly fading. As you can see, the sun has set. That rehydrated curry that I just had was pretty crap. <laughs> Very average. Don't really recommend that at all. You know, there's something about the campfire that just draws you to it. it I really just don't want to leave it. <laughs> but before it gets any darker, I'm going to say good night and I'll report back to you tomorrow morning after my night in the night cat flat hammock. So I'll see you in the morning, folks. Morning, folks. It's raining, as it usually is. It's five o'clock in the morning. I slept really well, apart from the fact that I've got perishing cold. I'm all bunged up, but the hammock was fine. This is a very superior hammock compared with your traditional banana-shaped hammock. So as you can see, I've got plenty of space in here. I didn't feel at all claustrophobic. The beauty of it is that you can put your own sleep mat underneath you. And uh, then I've got my sleeping bag in my uh, Gore-Tex bivy bag here. And absolutely loads of room to move around. Nice and warm. Yeah, give this uh, hammock a thumb up. All in all, yeah, a really good hammock. That's it folks, thanks for watching and remember, even in the rain, leave no trace. Bye.